In this tutorial, we will be looking at some advanced methods of analysis. To view spectral content for the selected period, you can calculate a fast Fourier transform by clicking on FFT. The time to calculate the FFT increases significantly with longer selection periods. This is because the FFT is calculated from the full resolution measurement files. The FFT function should generally be used for selections of less than one minute. A warning will display for selections longer than 10 minutes. Power spectral density curves are shown along with a visual representation of the sample distribution. The spectral plot is initially displayed with frequency in a linear scale. This can be changed to a logarithmic scale by clicking the log frequency checkbox. Increasing the overlap and window length increases resolution, but also the processing time required. Various window types can be selected from the drop-down menus. The default Blackman-Harris is a good general purpose window and suitable for most applications. Other window types may be suitable depending on the frequency content of the signal. The power spectral density curves can be viewed for each hydrophone by selecting from the drop-down menu. The spectrogram button enables visualization of the FFT varying with time. The bands module enables visualization of the one third octave bands, weighted to reflect the settings selected on the home screen, as well as a visual representation of the sample distribution. This performs a similar function to the FFT, but it is significantly faster. This is because the spectrogram displays the data already stored in the LVX files. The exposure module enables evaluation of cumulative exposure over the selected period. It also presents timestamps for the 90% energy interval, that is, between 5% and 95%, and marine weightings can be applied to enable direct comparison with relevant cumulative exposure criteria. It is particularly useful for evaluating cumulative exposure from activities such as multiple strikes during pile driving. Watch tutorial 5 to learn how to use tags.